good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. Joining us in the studio today is Dr. Nikolai Spranger. He's an orthopedic surgeon at the Trauma Hospital here in Berlin. Hello, Hello. and welcome to the show. Thank you. Hello. The patient in our film broke her lower leg. And as a traumatic surgeon, you, you see a lot of fractures. So what are the most common fractures you see? Yeah. The most common fracture in human are the wrist fractures. And in all of, uh, other people, especially the, the hip fractures. So, so why is that? Why do people often break their wrists? Yeah, they, uh, they fell and then they try to stop their falling with the hands and uh, then the, the bone breaks on the weakest um, position and uh, then we have to deal with these fractures. So this is why there are more fractures in the upper extremity then? For example, yes. Yeah. We've got a viewer question. Um, Silva Ferreira from Brazil. He had a fibula fracture yeah. as well as a lower leg. And, and he said, okay, the fracture is healing okay, but now he's got difficulties moving his foot. Yeah. Is there something to do with that? Absolutely. Uh, if you have an injured uh, leg, it's just not the bone that breaks. You have the soft tissues and the nervous structures too that can be injured. And probably this is the cause of um, the, uh, the, the problem of this patient that he can't uh, move his foot anymore. So, so there's a nerve going alongside the, the bone Absolutely. and it got damaged? Yeah. Okay, so anything you can do about that? Um, usually the, uh, the nerve recovers again if it's not, the damage is not too big. So he should do physiotherapy and wait. And wait and see. Yeah. yeah okay. So, so if I would break some bone somewhere in the forest, or say, what can I do as a first aid measure? Um, you can do, uh, when you are the per person who has a broken leg, you can't mm. do a lot. You, you have to keep uh, quiet, have to try to get to, uh, some help. Uh, do not do too much manipulation on your injured foot um, and try to get some help that they can uh, bring you to the uh, next hospital and do the x-ray and then you know what to do. So, so I, for myself, really can't do anything about it. I just put some, some bandage around it and rush yeah, into the hospital. Absolutely. And if you have an open fracture, if you have a wound there, you should uh, try to get it covered with a sterile dressing. Right. And yeah, talking about open fractures, I mean, if I see there's some bone coming out of my surface of the body, I realize this bone is broken. Yeah. But how do I, um, s s uh, can I diagnose as a patient that my bone is broken um, if it's not an open fracture? Yeah, um, you... You can't do weight bearing anymore, for example, for the lower okay. leg. You can you can see an abnormal position of your of your extremity. You have a lot of pain there. You hear sometimes crepitation of the bone, and then you are pretty sure that it's broken. <laughs> Open fractures are very prone for uh, getting infected. Yeah. Why are bone infections so dangerous? The problem about bone infections is that the blood supply of the bone is not as well as, for example, for the lung. And then um, the antibiotics you can give and treat the infection with um, will not reach the area they should go to. And this is the main problem about infections uh, of the bone. And, and what do doctors do then if the bone is infected? Uh, it's very difficult to uh, to treat them in the proper way. You have to do surgery at first to get rid of the uh, bacteria and then you have to treat them simultaneously with antibiotics and with special treatments. It's, uh, it's really still a big challenge to get rid of an infection of a bone. Okay. Dr. Spranger, which patients will benefit most from those metal foam implants? Um, we use these kind of uh, substitutes for bone, especially in um, osteoporotic bones uh, and fractured osteoporotic bone, because the problem on osteoporotic bone is that it's often combined, if it's fractured, with a lot of loss of structure there, and then we have to fill in something to get it stable again. So, so it's more like a filler than it's like an implant? Yeah, it is like a filler where the, the bone can grow into again. But is it regular treatment right now in Germany? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, we do it every day. Probably. Really? Yes. Oh, great. So there are two kinds of bone fractures. One is the traumatic thing, yeah. when you run into a car, for instance, and one is just uh, yeah, a pathological fracture. Yeah. 
What's that? Yeah, pathological fracture we call if the bone gets broken without any energy. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, co the, the main cause about this is uh, osteoporotic bone. And um, then the problem is the treatment again because you have to get it stable again because uh, you have a lot of loss of structure of the bone and you have to get it stable again. This is the really challenge okay. we, we face every day. So, so can I do anything to prevent myself from, from, from getting osteoporosis? You can't prevent it at all, but you can slow it down and uh, you can uh, try to get uh, fit again, try to um, uh, do sports again, try to strengthen your muscles again, because this prevents you uh, to get a, a hip fracture, for example, if, if you have the osteoporosis. And the other thing is, if you have a really severe osteoporosis, sometimes you have to, to, uh, to take medicine too to, to treat it. Yeah. So if you do have osteoporosis, so like weak bones, and, and you strengthen your muscles, yeah. is it like a protective shell, the muscle? Or? Yeah, it's a protective shell, and um, it, it keeps you from falling, for, for dropping, for example. If you have a strong um, muscle structure, you, you do not fall that often, and um, if you drop, you, you broke your bone. So prevent of dropping. So prevention of fractures is prevention of falling then? Absolutely. It is. Yeah. Okay. So, and if my bone fractures, can I do anything to yeah, speed up the healing process? Not really. You should uh, uh, eat healthy things, just a normal food. Um, you should um, do what the doctor said, mm -hmm. not moving your, your, your broken arm too much. If you have a conservative treatment, um, you should just try to let the bone heal um, in, in a uh, stable way and then it will heal. So nature will heal itself and you just don't interfere with it? Not too much. Not too much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks so much for all the Thank insights. You. Goodbye.